Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my March BookTuber shoutout. So, I've kind of started doing this in a slightly different way now. What I've been doing is going into my YouTube subscription feed, and literally, as I am adding stuff to my watch later list, I'll just pick out 10 random channels at the time I'm doing it, uh, who have posted videos that I've enjoyed. So, we've got Jashana C, so, been a fan of her channel for a while now, it's been good to watch it grow over the years. She reads quite a variety of stuff, really, but to be honest, she's one of the people who I watch for her personality. She just makes me laugh quite a lot. Um, yeah, great content, and um, I can't even remember what I was watching, some kind of TBR, I think. Then we have Lena's Library, so I came across her probably two years ago now, something like that. I happen to know she's uh, like got Latvian... Um, she's, she's like of Latvian descent or something. I think there's some Latvian in her family, because when I went to Latvia, we were chatting about it. Uh, she reads quite a lot of fantasy... And uh, so, yeah, if you're a fantasy fan, definitely check out her channel. Library of Sarah, she's another channel who really, I probably don't have so much in common with her when it comes to um, book tastes. But again, she has a really approachable personality and um, just some interesting content that I like to watch. I, I, it kind of inspires me quite a bit. And uh, again, she's one I've been watching for a while and uh, I, I think I missed, I missed seeing her videos for a while. I don't know whether she didn't upload or whether I, I just wasn't seeing them in my subscription feed for whatever reason. But uh, I've been watching a few of her videos recently and they're always good fun. Good fun. Okay, then we have Bookish. I imagine if you guys watch my channel, then you probably already watch Bookish's channel as well. Uh, he just does a lot of great discussion videos, some really interesting and insightful reviews as well. He's been known to do a tag here and there. But really, I think he's one of the people who I have a lot of respect for because he sort of has opinions, he stands by them. I, uh, you know, he's never pig-headed or anything like that, but he's also never one to back away from talking about something controversial. So, um, big respect to him for that. I think he gets it just right. And we have Peachy Fishy Books, who, uh, they've been one of my favourite channels for ages now, actually. Um, it was Brie and Momes, now it's just Momes, uh, because Brie lives like an hour away. But yeah, she's been getting back to posting regular content after about a year off, and I've been really enjoying it. They used to have a gaming channel where they did uh, Stardew Valley as well. I, d I don't know whether any more of that's coming. I don't know the logistics, whether you can film that online. I don't know. But um, yeah, definitely check out Peachy Fishy Books. Uh, especially like, I mean, Momes reads quite a mix of stuff. She was reading like the Bones books recently, but also um, I think she's been into graphic novels and stuff like that too, so... In fact, speaking of graphic novels, my next recommendation is Cats and Camera. Uh, I love her channel. Uh, there's no secret of it. I think when I was putting this list together, the video that I enjoyed that she'd uploaded was uh, Scrabble Picks Her TBR. But she's been known to do various other things. She reads some great gay stuff, some great indie stuff, some great graphic novels. And again, she's just a pretty badass person. And she does some uh, music photography on Instagram, so check out her Instagram as well. Then we have Magic of Books, so this is a YouTube channel I've been watching for like four or five years now, since way before I used to used to make videos. I think I used to watch this channel back um, when I was at my first job, which was like 2013, something like that. Um, yeah, she. I think it's two sisters. Anyway, she posts a lot of great stuff, a lot of fantasy, uh, a lot of historical fiction as well, which you don't see represented too much on BookTube, so definitely worth checking out if you're a historical fiction fan. Alright, then we have Daniel Green, who's been on like three of these shout-out lists in a row now, but that's because he's always uploading content. Uh, recently, I was enjoying his unboxing videos, people send him weird stuff, someone sent him a potato. Yeah, it's very strange. He's great for fantasy stuff, he does fantasy news, but uh, also the occasional review. And again, as I say, the unboxing is probably my, my favourite bits of his content, to be honest. Then we have Kit Cats Can Read, another channel I've been watching for ages. This is Katie. I can't remember how long she's been creating now, but it's got to be at least six or seven years. Katie is um, a good friend of mine. She's read Driven, actually, as well. She posted on Facebook that it's been two years since she read it. And, yeah, we've known each other for a fair old while now. And, yeah, it's just a booktube friend, you know? And then we have One Book, One Review. And uh, this is Vicka, and she's probably, my, probably most well-known for me for two things, which are her letters to the month that she writes... And also, I really like her wrap-ups because she does a lot of statistics in them as well. And I'm a bit of a data geek, so yeah, that's a pleasure for me to watch all the time. Again, she's been around for a while, and uh, she's a big Discworld fan, amongst other things. Does some great reviews, some great tags, great content. Just check her out. There we have it. Those are 10 of the BookTube channels I've been enjoying in March. 
As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what channels you've been enjoying. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to any of the channels below if they take your fancy. Subscribe to me for more bookish stuff. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.